Adrian here on Love Lift Life, encouraging you to live your life to the fullest. And this video is a um, kind of like a makeup video for my eight weeks pregnancy, and because I didn't get a chance to do it. So at eight weeks, I was pretty much still kind of sick, and uh, I was having like motion sickness. Not motion sickness. Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so tired right now. I just got off of work. <laughs> but, um, I was also very fatigued. I was constipated. Yes, I was so constipated in eight weeks. And then, on top of that, I was nauseous a lot. So, like, every little thing was making me sick. And, what else? Oh, another thing. I, I was so tired, I didn't even feel like washing my hair. My hair was so dry and brittle, which it still is now, but it's mostly the um, roots are dry and the ends are pretty moisturized or whatever. But yeah, at eight weeks, my hair was so super dry and brittle. My skin was peeling and it was, I remember it was irritated right around here, like all around here. It was very irritated and like almost like it was inflamed but yeah and I remember having the um stomach stretching pull like feelings like cramp feelings I remember having those as well at eight weeks and also during eight weeks I didn't take hardly any of my asthma medicine the only asthma medicine I was able to take was Abuterol and Benadryl and my emergency inhaler. That's it. My Abuterol was my nebulizer. Um, but that was pretty much it for my eight weeks. I couldn't really do too much anything and all I did was just stay in the house. And every time I went outside, you know, I had a, a reaction, my asthma reaction. And I was super tired then. Um... That's all I really remember about my eight weeks. And yeah, I was I had started to gain weight as well. And I noticed at eight weeks when I ate, I uh felt better. So long as I constantly ate during the eight weeks, like started eating more, just constantly eat, like always having something in my mouth or always chewing on something or just eating something constantly like every hour almost every minute i would feel better i wouldn't feel nauseous i wouldn't be so sick and i had the energy to you know work and do the things i need to do throughout the day but that's the tip that i noticed and that i learned when I was in my first trimester of eight weeks, there's not too much you can do in your first trimester of being pregnant, especially with asthma. And it's like you need your asthma medicine, so it's like you're in a bubble in a shell, and you have to like stay in and stay out of out of the stuff, out of the air and stuff and things that triggers your asthma. You have to kind of stay away from that. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah. That's pretty much it. That's all I really remember about being, you know, my eighth week of being pregnant was just that my breast was so sore. I do remember that. <laughs> my breast was extremely sore. Now, since um, 18 weeks, tomorrow I'll be 19. Yeah. So y'all got a video coming up for that. And y'all need to stay tuned for the gender reveal video. Oh, yeah. I can't wait, y'all. I can't wait. But, yeah. That's pretty much it. I'm going to close this video out with a subscriber shout out. And thank you so much for subscribing. And I want to tell you, remember to love your life, live your life, because it's your life. And thank you again. For watching my videos and subscribing and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button click that link click not link y'all know what i'm saying hit that subscribe button click that thumbs up click that bell so you can be notified of my videos because youtube will not notify you 
when I upload until you click that bell. So remember to love your life, live your life because it's your life. I'm Adrian, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.